it's as simple as step one, step two, step three. Step one, download Steam CMD. So we do step two. And this will first download Steam CMD, then update Steam CMD, and then it should all in one go uh, automatically start downloading all these server files. It says download finished, go to step three. You can change anything you want if you know what you're doing. Then click generate. That will create a start file, and that means I just double click it, and this will start up my server. Hey everybody and welcome to another video. Today I want to show you guys something that I've been working on for the last couple of days and I also want to take this uh, moment to thank Atsido from the map making community um, who helped me out, fixed the little bugs and makes things, uh, made sure that things worked a little bit better. So thank you to him for helping me give this to you guys. So as you saw in the intro it's a little program that helps you set up a Rust server in only three steps. So I just want to give you guys a little uh, walkthrough on how to use it then if you guys have any problems report them to me and I will get them fixed, hopefully as soon as possible. And then I want to use this program in an upcoming all-encompassing Rust hosting tutorial. Quick run through. If you go to the video description in this video, there will be a download link to this RAR file. So what I did, I just made a folder on my D hard disk because I know that's where I have the most free space. And it doesn't really matter what you call that folder, but that is where all the server files are going to be downloaded to. The program doesn't have a option to say where you want to install it, just to keep it simple. It just downloads everything directly to wherever you run the program. So don't run it on your on your desktop. Just make a folder, put the program in there and run it from there. So that's what I'm going to do. There are some optional things in this RAR file um, that are basically Steam CMD and the batch files you will need to run it. If you don't want to use the program and you just want to use the batch files, which are all tested and working currently, um, that's fine too. Just download it, use the batch files, edit them, all good. I'm just going to drag the program out to my uh, Rust folder or Rust three click folder, whatever. And I'm just going to run it at, at, um, as an administrator. It's as simple as step one, step two, step three. So if you uh, just follow the progress thing, it should be very easy. Step one, download Steam CMD. It says step uh, Steam CMD downloaded, step two. So we do step two. And this will first download Steam CMD, then update Steam CMD, and then it should all in one go uh, automatically start downloading all these server files. Um, depending on your internet, this can take a little bit. Don't close this little black screen. It will close uh, automatically once it's done. If it somehow uh, crashes or closes in between, just uh, click the same uh, thing again. So as you can see now, it's pre-allocating my space. That basically means it's checking if I have enough space on my hard disk. If you get an error before this stage, that basically means you don't have enough free space. So make some free space on your hard disk or take the program, put it in another folder and then run the program there. Uh, if that folder, of course, in a, on our hard disk with more space. So for a facility generated map, um, the uh, I'm not going to tell you what means what. If you don't know what things means, check the, uh, the top section of the program. For example, if you go to Start Batch Explained, you can click on any of these things and it will basically tell you in the bottom a little explanation of what it is and what you should doing, what you should be filling in. Also, all my video tutorials are in here. If you click on any of these, it will just open up in your default browser. For me, that's Google Chrome. If you want to contact me, this is all my links. Same thing. And also some useful Rust programs you can use to manage your server uh, once it's set up. Some websites you can check out to get more information, not just about hosting, um, but also about Rust itself. Some written guides. The, um, some people, uh, for example, the Rust uh, Rustified uh, article is where I learned initially how to host servers um that's at the top mainly because of that reason um and also some discords you can uh, join um depending on what you're interested in or what programs like for example if you use uh, fortify join the discord and learn more about it and see what other people are creating um if you want to download oxide after this is done this is uh, probably something that will be added to the program later a download oxide button and make it all automatic but that's not in at the moment um you can just click on download oxide and you didn't see it open but yeah it opened in my browser download oxide and from there that's the link you can use to download things um or if you want to go program uh, plugins you can either go paid plugins or free plugins whatever you want um, if you want to choose a map size and a map seat, you can just choose map here at the top. This will open up playrust.io uh, gallery. And here you can choose a size 
for example, 2000, which is quite on the small size. You just look here, you see this first number is 2000, so that matches the map size. So that's the size, and then the number after it is the seed. So if I would, uh, if I would want to take this uh, island or world, whatever you want to call it, and run it on my server, I would just look at the link or look at the name 2001, and then, oh, I clicked on my program. <laughs> opens my, if you click on here, it opens my YouTube channel. Um, I would just go to the map size, put 2000, and then map seed is one. And then click generate, but I'll just do things step by step. So it says download finished, go to step three. Um, we already filled this in. You can change anything you want if you know what you're doing. Then click generate. That will create a start file. And that means I just double click it and this will start up my server. So there it goes. Once again, depending on your computer, this can take a while. Just let it go. If it doesn't crash us and it doesn't give you red errors and it doesn't, um, if it if it goes here, there's like yellow things. Ignore that. Don't care. Just let it go. Let it go. Let it go. Sorry, I'm so sorry. So as you can see, it's now fully running. Um, by it's telling me it, the name of the server and how many FPS it's it's running at. So I know it's running. So now I can just open up my game from Steam like normally, and then I'll show you what to do once you're back in the game. So with the game running, what we're going to do, because we cannot just go to the server list, we didn't port forward. So your computer will only work on your local network, meaning on your computer probably, or if you have a friend uh, that lives with you or a brother, whatever, they could also join your server locally. Um, other people cannot join. If you want them to be able to join, look at my uh, uh, port forwarding tutorial in the video description. If you do that successfully, which is the hardest part, that's where most people unfortunately crash um, or quit or give up, whatever you want to call it. Um, if, you if you do that, then you can just go to the server browser and join through there. We cannot do that, so we have to go to F1 and type in... That's a unfortunate placement of my head so we're gonna do client we're not gonna do that because we're typing in obs because we're stupid client dot connect localhost colon 2805 so if you do that localhost just means your computer basically and press enter if your server is running so this screen needs to be running in the background or open whatever you want to call it um you will be able or you should be able to connect and just as every server just because it's local doesn't mean it's super fast this will take ages because the computer is running your client and the server at the same time so it's it's a lot of ram and hardware being used at the moment so give it a moment but you'll connect let the move the head back Duh. one eternity later okay here we go! Yahoo! If you I was little. We are in the game. Oh, we're lagging hard. But oh, 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 chill, bro. We are in the game. Um so we got the black screen. In this black screen you can run comments. So um anything you read on the dev blogs, any website, etc., you can run these here or use a program uh, like Rust Admin. If you go back to my program, you go to Useful Programs, Rust Admin. If you download this program, um, that's a lot easier, but some people have problems setting it up. So for example, if I would do, I would make it dark or env, oh, env.time10, make it morning. So you can run comments directly uh, in here. You can also do save to save your um, to save your file or to save your server, whatever you want to call it. So your server is running. If you want to disconnect, um, if you go to escape, it will say Amsterdam 2. This is because you connected through a uh, direct IP and it's not a port forwarded server. So this is normal. Um, if you don't have this disconnect button here, which you should have now with the new uh, interface, but sometimes it's uh, weird, just do F1, type in disconnect, and you can also disconnect that way from your server. Um, once again, 
you're not in the server list, your friends cannot join, go to the um, link in the video description saying port forwarding tutorial. That's where I explain how to make sure that you uh, and other people can join the game through the browser. This is basically it. If you have anything you would want to see added to the program, if you have any questions, uh, add me on uh, Discord, send me a message or see if um, on my Discord I have like all the batch files laid out. I have a frequently asked questions list. I don't actually have it yet, but I'll be adding it. Um, so I can help you out there. If this helps you out in any way, leave a like. If you want to see more like this or keep up with the updates of the program, um, subscribe. I have a lot more coming up. I've been absent for a little bit. Um, I don't want to keep talking about it. Anyway, thanks guys. I'm out. Peace.